Uh, you know, Friday when I was done here, went home, it was snowing in North Canada, it was snowing on the Quest of Grade. You know, we do have a chance to pick up a little bit more snow at low elevations. So if you kind of missed out the first couple of times it happened, might have another opportunity. This is a look out at Pismo Beach, the gray skies, the rain continues here. This is not going to be as powerful the system today and again Tuesday into Wednesday as what we've seen, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be windy again. There's a number of advisories in place and you can see the pinwheeling action here with the big trough of low pressure and the cold air that backed in from Canada is still locked into place here across the West. Zooming in Doppler radar, this main band here at times has been very energetic across the area, dumping quite a bit of rainfall here and there, picking up another quarter to half inch to for some places. And again, we're still adding up the rainfall. I'm going to wait till some of this backs off and then get you some numbers. But behind the main band, there's also a secondary band of showers and isolated heavier showers moving through the area. There's a winter weather advisory in place now. There's a winter storm warning from 1 o'clock tomorrow to 10 o'clock on Wednesday. Snow levels currently are way up there, three to 4,000 feet, which is actually fairly low for us. But again, going to drop to about 15 to 2,000. That's the kind of numbers here for San Luis Obispo County and some of the hills that could produce some more snow, but not like what we're seeing here in Santa Barbara County, where we can see 8 to 16 inches and local amounts to 20. Winds today, 15 to 30, gusting to 45. Taylor showed you how the trees are doing out there. Really challenging when you pound them day after day after day with rain and wind. So either the root systems are just struggling to hang on or just the pressure from all of the rain and the wind. Mid 40s, low 50s, mid 50s, south coast. Winds on shore, a little gusty at times though. About 15 miles per hour sustained one minute average. But some of the gusts have been 20 and even 30 miles per hour. Backing off a hair here. But with all the storminess, a lot of energy in the water, 10 to 30. 13 foot waves. We're going to have an advisor from 7 o'clock tomorrow to 10 o'clock on Wednesday. So again, the model is off to a good start here, showing us those showers. A bit of a break overnight, not a complete perfect break, but a break. And then as we get into Tuesday, again, we've got the rocket launch around 11. That's when some of this activity starts rolling into the area again. On and off showers. Again, you can see the snow levels beginning to drop across the region. So yeah, we could absolutely see some more snow as we go into the early hours on Wednesday, even in San Luis Obispo County here. So this is a pretty interesting weather pattern. When do we finally get a more more broad break and that's going to be later on Wednesday. How much additional rainfall quarter inch to three quarter of inch for most, but in some of the hills we could see an inch to two inches additional rainfall through Wednesday. And again, higher elevations could see a foot of snow, low elevations, maybe enough to just watch. So this isn't a big system and uh, not like the snows we've already seen, but again, snow San Luis Obispo County, always interesting. So it's all because of this big rotation here around the trough. The trough ultimately kicks out. After the trough leaves, there's going to be a bit of a northwesterly flow that keeps pushing cooler air into the area. So even though temperatures will come up a little bit to the low 60s, they're not going to push much into the 60s. Temperatures in the mid 50s for much of the area tomorrow, but the interior is going to struggle to reach about 50 degrees for daytime highs. Templeton 49, 48 at Tascadero. In the five cities, they're looking at daytime highs right around the lower 50s. Santinez Valley temperatures, lower 50s, and the extended forecast warms to the low 60s for some as we head into the weekend. More activity middle to late next week.